Hello everyone. In this video, we will be showing a modified ILM flap technique in macular hole surgery. Macular hole is a defect in the neurosensory retina at the foveal region which affects the central vision. It is predominantly idiopathic with higher prevalence in females. Glass classified macular hole in four stages and more recently the International Vitreo Macular Traction Study Group have classified it based on the OCT findings. These are the techniques used for macular hole closure with conventional ILM peeling being the most commonly used one. In our technique, the ILM was stained, then the nasal ILM was peeled, following which a temporal flap was made and this flap was reposited over the macular hole. Now let's see the surgical procedure. In our first case, there was a traumatic macular hole of a 25 year old male with best corrected visual acuity of counting fingers at 2 meter. 23 gauze sclerotomies were made. A core vitrectomy was done. Vitreous was then stained with tramcinolone acetate and PVD was induced. After that, the vitrectomy was completed. The eye limb was then stained with brilliant blue. The nasal ILM was then peeled using centripetal force. A temporal flap was made and it was carefully inverted over the macular hole. During the fluid air exchange, the fluid was kept nasal to the optic disc to prevent graft displacement and due to this the need for other modalities to keep the graft in place was avoided. The case was closed under gas tamponade. Here we can see the pre and post op OCT images. The best corrected visual acuity was 636 at 1 month follow up. In our second case, we have a 60-year-old female with macular hole measuring more than 400 microns with best corrected visual acuity of 660 on Snellen's chart. 23 gauze ports were made and tramcinolone assisted vitrectomy was performed. The eye limb was stained with brilliant blue and the nasal flap was peeled. A temporal flap was carefully made and inverted over the macular hole. During fluid air exchange, the fluid was kept nasally to the optic disc like before. The case was closed under gas tamponade. Here are the pre and post op OCT images. The best corrected visual acuity was improved to 636 at one month follow up. In our third case, we have a 71 year old female with macular hole less than 400 microns and best corrected visual acuity of 624. 23 gauge ports were made and core vitrectomy was done. Tramcinolone acetate was used to stain the vitreous and the vitrectomy was completed. The eye limb was then stained with brilliant blue. A temporal flap was made which was carefully inverted over the macular hole.
The remaining nasal alum was then peeled. Fluid air exchange was done and the case was closed under gas tamponade. Here are the pre and post op OCT images. The best corrected visual acuity was improved to 612 at 1 month follow up. Inverted ILM flap provides a more regular nidus for fibroblast proliferation which aids in macular hole closure. Nasal ILM peeling provides an additional advantage by relieving the tangential traction like the conventional technique. Thus, this modified ILM peel method gives benefit of both the techniques for better closure of large holes. Thank you.